Whoa. Data terminal? Aurora black box? Initiated slingshot remover around planet 4546b. High velocity energy pulse detected on the planet on the planet's surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening by long range comm relay. Emergency initiated manual pilot transfer cast to have to off. Uh, emergency bounce back receives from eight life pods on a planet's surface. Human life signs detected eight hours. T eight hours one personal. Un so that means I'm the only person that survived, and there's eight life pods on this planet. Cause that's who they're referring to, am I right? The one survivor? They're referring to me. They should be, right? Hmm. Cause I'm the only one that survived here. So I guess they're referring to me. Uh let us let us let us let us get us a repair tool in our hand. No, not a repair tool, a laser cutter. And let us unseal this door. Open a sesame. A sesame. That means there's a bunch. There's a wreckage that we found next to the island that had. There's a wreckage that we found next to the island that had the freaking. Um, drop this. There's a wreckage that we found next to the island that had the laser cutter thing. So we should be able to go back over there and check to see what's going on with that. Uh, I don't know what the rest of this is for. I feel like I'm getting so much information here, but I just don't know what to do with it. I just don't know. How do I get into this door? First of all, can I get some oxygen? Some oxygen before I die. Why is this ship so damn big? <laughs> Why is there so much here? Oh my gosh! I feel like I could. I spent like two hours here. Go away. This thing is massive. Oh, this is the exit. I'm on the other side. Whoa. Let me take another fire extinguisher. Because now there's so many codes and stuff I should have had. But I don't have that. I don't have none of that. Let me see what the Aurora survivors see if they have anything. Cause none of these have any codes for me to decipher here. No. Yo. None of these has codes. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna check the Aurora survivors. To see if they have some code some code that they're willing to relay nothing nothing okay so getting here is an unknown because I don't know how to fuck to get in here Nope, I don't know how to get in there. So it looks like we're at a double dead end. And it looks like we're not going to. Looks like we gotta come back. Gotta make another trip back here. 
because there's so much. But this ship is so damn big. It probably I'm probably am missing out on something. I don't know what though. I feel like I gathered everything. I must have. So that's enough of this. Cause I don't know what else to find here. I think I explored everything. I think I explored everything though. So the Aurora, our last stop on our list is drawing to a close. As I explored, as I explored pretty much most of everything that's on the ship, I believe. There's still a few things that are still left unchecked. Like the propulsion cannon and the other the captain's room and and the other room <clears throat> so there's still a few things that are left unchecked but we will explore them possibly another time because i'm guessing you have to make multiple trips here to make this all work which i don't have a problem with that i don't necessarily see a problem with that uh, I just want to go back and check to see if I gotten everything. This place is too damn big. Prawn Bay locker room. Uh, what was this? Seamoth Bay. Let me check to make sure I got everything here. Yeah, I did. I sure did. I sure did check the dry room one more time. Ow. The dry room is good. We are fine here. So everything should be good and dandy. Right? There was no there was no other place here. I don't believe so. No. That's just outside. Whoa, that's trippy. That's real trippy. What's over there? No, that's a dead end. Alright. So. Aurora has been fully explored. And now we can make our leave. We can bid this place adieu. As we got a lot of stuff here. A whole lot of stuff here. A lot of beneficial things here. But we still cannot make a Cyclops. Which I'm the most interested in making. I want to know what the fuck is a Cyclops. And we cannot climb up that ladder. Is that really it to this place? That's all? That's just fire. Whoa. That's just an open gate. And... Yeah, that must be all. Okay. So, this Aurora adventure was fun. I'm, I'm surprised that we actually got the chance to explore the ship, but there's still a lot more stuff here that we need to get that we don't have access to. Like, I don't see the point of the propulsion cannon just yet. Maybe that's something for later, later in the game. But right now, at the moment, I don't see the point of the propulsion cannon. So, maybe that's for a later time so let us go let us get up off this ship i'm tired of looking at this damn thing Wee! Yo. now where's my sea moth hey buddy you want to upgrade would you like an upgrade you can get upgraded with the sea moth depth module now we can go 300 meters Now we are able to explore 300 meters deep into the deep abyss 
of these oceans because the abyss is more deeper than it seems. I remember seeing those bulb shits over here though. And I kind of wanted to know what was that. Can the game load though? Please? Thank you. I remember seeing like the bulb, those glowing balls down here. This. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa. Oh, I can't scan this. But there seems to be a whole lot of hostiles down here. Oh my god! There seems to be a whole lot of hostiles down here. As he says... Oh, you can see Mesmers? Is that a life pod? Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution while dying on deep level. Can you leave me alone? There appears to be a life pod here. Uh, life pod 12? Why am I not getting any information about you? Do you just like find these things scattered all across the planet? Repulsion cannon? I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been cheating the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readings. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding? I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Oh! Repair, 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 repair! Go, 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 go. Oh, you just spawned out of nowhere. Whoa, there's so many of these things. Oh, well, we are about to end this. <laughs> we are, are about to end this. Wow. And we get introduced to an entirely new biome. Which is actually really dope. With a bunch of thermal vents, mesmers, and fucking big ass. And we have a crashed ship here. We have a crashed wreckage here. Uh, I, I, I actually really am interested to see what these species are, but scanning them seems like it's going to be a problem. And now that we can actually go deeper, that means so much more of the world can be accessible to us. Well, I'm going to be doing all of that in the next part. If you enjoyed this episode of Subnautica of the seaweed playthrough like comment and subscribe we visited the aurora today uh we're getting a lot of distress messages and this is pure black ocean here but we can go deeper so we can see what kind of things we can acquire here but like i said if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe for more parts of the subnautica seaweed playthrough 
cannot identify. A large massive energy signature in a region cannot identify. Oh well, we're not supposed to be this deep anyway. So we can go back. Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all are will return for another part, which another part we will be live streaming. So I hope you guys are welcome to come back. As there's still more stuff to this game to explore. Dealing with figuring out reapers and a bunch of different monstrous, disastrous creatures upon the horizon as we just traverse this black ass ocean we must be so deep that we don't see nothing how close are we to anything for one anyway if you enjoyed by coming and subscribe and I hope you all are, will return for another part of the Subnautica seaweed playthrough I had a really amazing time actually exploring this place and seeing what is what the fuck what the fuck I'm scared to leave. I don't know where I am. Well, it looks like we just stumbled upon an island, but this island is not floating. How the hell did we get over here? If we just was next to the Aurora. Uh, well, it looks like we're gonna be exploring this another time. Uh, I'm taking a screenshot of that. Cause I don't know what this place is. We have another island in the game. It's actually really interesting. That's dope. But we're gonna be exploring you another time, buddy. Because, whoa. Are we in a seaweed forest? Let's end this off in a seaweed forest, please. Must we? Shall we? Yes, we can. This one is deep, though. I hope you all enjoyed. We just discovered a new island. I don't know how we started all the way from the Aurora to ending up all the way over here. I don't know how we did that. But now it's just covered up in fog. Maybe my perception is weird. Maybe I'm perceiving this whole thing weirdly. Maybe the Aurora is tilted at an angle. But what the fuck? What the hell? How did I get over there? Oh, this game is trippy! Okay, we will see you next time. Tell us, good loves.